What's going on guys, it's Victory, and today we are reacting to something very similar to what we've reacted to in the past. Last week we reacted to the DC Fandom and their game releases, as well as the Batman movie trailer, obviously, and today we're doing the opposite side of the coin, we're checking out the Marvel Avengers launch trailer. So I've been following a little bit about this game, all I know, for, the only things I keep in mind is the fact that it's exclusive, Spider-Man is an exclusive to PS4, which I think is hilarious and I totally support it. I also think that this game has a lot of potential. It looks like it could be great. Um, however, I have no personal interest in playing this game. Maybe this trailer will change my mind. Uh, but as of right now, the way it stands, I'm not interested in buying it just yet. Um, but, you know, this that's what this trailer's job is to do. It's to prove me wrong. So, without further ado, let's check it out. All right, standard Marvel logo. Crystal Square Enix made this game, which is really good. Okay, so that's Tony Stark. So Cap's dead? That's that's Bruce Banner. Modoc. I don't know who that is. Black Widow. Or I think I know who it is, but I'm not sure. Is that Miss Marvel? Yeah, okay. I have to check myself to make sure I didn't just make a stupid statement. Yeah, I, I was right. Okay, cool. Just had to make sure. <laughs> I've read so many of these comics and I never want to get somebody mixed up because I would get slewed forever. Alright. Ooh, but it looks like there's a lot of fun to be had here. It almost looks like Marvel's Arkham-like. That's supposed to be Black Widow still? That's Thor in a janitor outfit, I think. Okay, I guess I guess they did their job, you know, show what they can and but leave you wondering, you know. There was a lot a little bit of story there. Uh so I guess what happened is something went wrong. It killed Captain America, and either this is replaying that, or this is uh, a continuation afterwards. Uh one scene that I wanted to pull out specifically first is this scene right here of all of them standing together. So yes, there's no cap in this photo, but Black Widow is actually suited up with a... Uh, I don't know what those things on her wrists are. They could be little, like, the little, you know, the things that you can... Sh I don't know how those work, honestly. To be completely honest with you, I have no fucking clue. But I, I would imagine it's one of those buttons, like, it's kind of... It, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. Um, and then she's got some police batons as well. But she's looking souped up. Miss Marvel's looking kind of cool. I haven't seen her in many, in much media outside of the comics. Uh, I've seen her obviously in Superhero Squad, but that's the old, like, that's a completely different version of her, as far as I'm aware. Uh, other than that, you know, Hulk still looks standard. Iron Man, I'm not necessarily happy with. I know nobody's really happy with the. Sorry. I know nobody's happy that they don't look like their MCU counterparts. I totally understand why. It's just the only one for me that I can't get over is changing to what Tony Stark looks like. It's just, it's weird. I get it. I totally do. Uh, you can't sign someone's likeness away like that. But considering merchandising and everything for the past 20, or not 20 years, but like 10, 10 years, 11 years now, has been Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, or at least looks like him. Uh, or at least, I mean, that's because he looks so much like the comic, but this guy looks nothing like Iron Man. It's kind of weird. But, um, and the outfits, from what I'm seeing, they look like they have some sort of customization with them. I don't necessarily believe any of the gear means anything. Like, it doesn't have any stats to it. But it definitely does look like you can soup up these characters. Um, specifically Thor's outfit here looks like it's got a lot of gold plating on it, which makes it look more like a legendary set if I were to, if they were to have one of those. Like I said, I have very limited knowledge of this game, but that would be my greatest assumption. Same with Miss Marvel and her little gauntlet here, and I would assume same with it, just because it's gold encrusted, I would assume so. Another scene that I wanted to take a look at, again, regarding the costumes, is this one right here, where Thor's in his janitor outfit. Hulk also looks a little different, but I think that could just be an animation thing. But the Iron Man costume here on this side is completely different. It's a completely different suit. Um, it actually looks more like the nanotech suit uh, from the movie or, you know, the uh, Mark 50 or 51 or whatever. Um, so, yes, from what I can tell, you can, you know, customize the suits. There might be stats to them for all I know, but, you know, this janitor suit Thor looks pretty sick. 
And of course, last thing to check, it releases on the 4th of September, which is two days from now. We'll see. Well, we'll see. I, I do think that there's a lot of room here to find a fun game to play. I don't know if I'd be able to play it for content. I kind of have other things that I want to try to do, but you never know. If you see me upload a Marvel's Avengers Let's Play on this channel, then, well, I caved. <laughs> I couldn't handle being away from Marvel for so long. But I could go on for hours and hours about different things that have to do with Marvel and not the game. But I'll be excited. I'll take a look, do a little more research. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll be playing this game pretty soon. Anyways, I've been Victory. Thank you so much for tuning in this far. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and show your support and subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you guys real soon.